Good evening. Dramatic developments at the trial of a Cape Breton man charged in a deadly hit and run. Law enforcement had to intervene when the verdict sparked outrage in the courtroom. CTV's Kyle Moore has been covering the case and has details of today's events. Chaos erupted in the courtroom shortly after a Cape Breton man was found not guilty in the driving death of a 10-year-old girl. Sheriffs restrained one man as he appeared to lunge at the accused. Police quickly detained him and took him away in handcuffs. I'm heartbroken. We just spent two and a half years fighting for justice for my little sister and we're not getting it. <laughs> The little girl's mother moved to tears as she left. Her daughter, 10-year-old Talia Forrest, died on July 11, 2019, after being struck by a vehicle in a rural part of Cape Breton while riding her bicycle with a friend. Outside court, 30-year-old Colin Tweedy was escorted quickly away by police and sheriffs. He was found not guilty on charges of impaired driving causing death, dangerous driving causing death, and leaving the scene of an accident. No one could believe it. It's, it's insane. Um, we're all angry and sad. In her decision today, Justice Mona Lynch said she accepted that Tweedy believed he hit a deer and did not know he hit a person and based on all circumstances acquitted the accused. The decision uh, was very well done. Um, it was very well reasoned. Uh, the decision was based on the evidence that the judge heard as opposed to any emotion or anything like that. The Crown was surprised by the verdict but knew going in there were legal issues. The legal issues um, were specific to each individual count. So, for example, with the uh, over 80 charge of impaired alcohol, uh, she was looking at the uh, expert evidence as well as the exact uh, evidence of driving or of drinking uh, surrounding the driving incident. Talia's family is hoping the verdict will be appealed. It's devastating that Talia's not here. Um, we don't get to see her first prom. We don't get to see her first boyfriend. A decision today that, no matter the outcome, has affected many lives. And Todd, the Crown says they will review the decision on whether to appeal. Meanwhile, Colin Tweedy will be back in court on June 3rd for sentencing on a remaining count of obstructing a police officer, a charge he pleaded guilty to at the start of the trial. Todd. CTV's Kyle Moore starting us off tonight.